of government. So then we talked about the development fund. This one is set up for capital projects. It is a, like I've said the other time, the development fund is the fund which is set up by the government to cater for any capital project like building of roads, building of railways, building of dams, and any other thing, building of classroom, uh, digging of bowls, and other thing, anything that, that, of, that is of a capital nature. So development fund cater for, to, for that. Then we talk about the contingency fund, as in the word contingent. Con contingency is talking about the unforeseen contingencies. Uh, there are some uh, disasters that may occur at any point in time. So the government is set up an account that uh, when such occurrence comes, they, they call it unprecedented occurrence, like a flood, like a war. War can, can arise, then there can be fire outbreak. So they, call, they are classified under contingencies which uh, the, the funds can, can, can be used for that purpose. So it is a to take care of any natural disaster. We are the accountant general of the federation. What is the work of accountant, Gen uh, accountant general of federation? The work of accountant general of federation is to prepare the account of the federation, both the state, the federal, and the local uh, level. So he is in charge, he, he uh, ensure the custody of government ensure the disbursement of the government fund and they prepare the account of the government. That is the function of accountant general of federation. He ensures that the, the government treasury is properly kept and the, then it ensures that the, all government accounting are prepared from, the, from different departments, from ministry, from agencies and prior status. Then we have the Auditor General, as the word, as the, as the word implies, Auditor General. It is, it is the one who examines the financial statement that is being prepared by the Accountant General and form opinion that uh, whether the account form the true and fair view. I mean, whether they comply with uh, 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 procedures guiding the preparation of that uh, financial statement. Okay, we have the revenue collector officers. These are, the, these are the officers who are in charge of collecting government revenue from local government level, from state government and the federal government level. The board of inland revenue, we talk about uh, these, are what we, these are people that we call tax officials, I mean tax authority. They are in charge to collect government tax. Then we have the Ministry of Finance. The Ministry of Finance are in charge of budgeting. That means they are, the, the, they are of government officials that are in charge of government money. They ensure that the government money is, is being uh, financed properly and they ensure that it is being planned. Then in, uh, in our aspect of budgeting, it is also the help of the financial, uh, Ministry of Finance. They ensure that the government, government budget are financed in a proper way where every spending that needs to curtail will be curtailed and uh, every finances that uh, will bring, bring benefit to government are being financed. So that are the work of a Ministry of uh, Finance. After that, we'll be talking about the uh, expenditure authority. What is warrant? This is an instrument used by the minister who authorizes an officer to incur expenditure. We have different types of warrants. We have the annual general warrant. This is an instrument which gives authority to the accountant general to release money as specified in the budget approved. You know, government has what we call budget. And uh, after the budget has been approved by the Senate, then which is being signed by the President, then the warrant to disburse the money stated in the budget must be approved. Then we have supplementary general project warrant. This is an instrument that is used to authorize the officer in charge to release funds as contained in the supplement budget. The supplement budget is just the type of budget that uh, is stated in the approved budget, which can there are some uh, expenditure that can be of supplement nature that they might not make provision for, but you just set it aside. Should in case there is anything that government still need to do, uh, that supplement budget 
we definitely cater for that. Then we have a, we also have another one, supplementary statutory warrant. Now this type of warrant, this is used to give authority to the accountant general to release one for the settlement of statutory officer emolument as stated in the supplementary budget. This type of budget is statutory in nature and which are which are who are the statutory work officers? Those people that work that are government officials, you can call them judges, you can call them uh, law enforcers and many other people like that. So next we have a provision general warrant. This is used to release funds for the payment of emolument and service before budget is approved. It, it will be in operation for good four months. There are some but there are some provisional general warrant whereby before budget is approved, like uh, you know, budget during the year, budget can be approved maybe in the fourth month or the fifth month, depending on the uh, issues on that uh, budget. But before then, you know, government will need to spend money before they approve budget. So with the help of provisional budget, it helps government to embark on some project. Then we have the environment warrant. Environment warrant, this is the type of warrant that is used to transfer one boat head to another. That means if it is used to transfer uh, money or funds between two departments within the same ministry. So that is what we call it. it is, the word environment is transfer of a fund or vote from one head to another. Then the next one we have a contingency warrant. It gives a accountant general, accountant general to release funds for urgent and unforeseen events. Then we have a development fund accountant general man. This is a kind of warrant that is used to cater any development uh, fund. I mean, we're talking about the project when government is going to embark on the long-term project, capital projects like a building of roads and the likes. So it is that warrant that uh, really help, that uh, authorized the accountant to release one to cater for that uh, capital project. Then we have a reserve expenditure one. Take note of this, it do normally come out in the objective in WAEC or uh, NECO. So this is an instrument that is used to release funds. Which minister had earlier we take? It is a, it's what we call reserve. That it is a kind of expenditure that is reserved to cater for uh, a specified uh, expenses. So, and it, it is being held only by the Minister of Finance. So, and the main reason for withholding the fund is to exercise a special control. So, it, it is the under, it is the fund that we, we that do normally re, re, release or authorized by the Minister of Finance. And that is what we call reserve uh, expenditure one. So, that is that on the warrant. Then let's go to book of account. Book, we have different type of book of account. Number one, we have a voucher. This is the document used in government accounting to show evidence of cash receipt and payment. So it is just an evidence of payment. Now, what are the type of voucher? We have three type of voucher. We have a payment voucher. We have a receipt voucher. We also have an adjustment voucher. Now. What is the payment voucher? Payment voucher is just a document used to show the evidence that the, the government has paid money maybe to the supplier. Then also receipt uh, voucher. This is evidence to show that the government uh, has collected the receipt. Adjustment voucher is just a voucher used to correct errors and when there is a mistake. So they attach it with the adjustment voucher. So it is a voucher used to correct errors. Then we will talk about the vote book. It is another book of account and it's very important. Vote book, this is a memorandum book which is maintained by each subject to control and monitor government expenditure. It is a, a, it is a kind of expenditure that is being disbursed which are to be written in the vote book in each department. So it is a book which uh, a department is used to control and monitor government expenditure. To know, it is just to control the, uh, the spending of government and just to, uh, just, not just to waste government expenditure, but to know where exactly those expenditures are going to. 
that is the, the importance of vote book. Everything that must be spent, every expenditure must be included in that uh, vote book, of which we direct the officer in charge to spend that uh, uh, expenditure. So that is that. Then we have the receipt and payment. This is talking about the card, government card book. It's all the same thing as the treasury card book. So we call it a receipt and a book of account, which is a receipt and payment. So this account shows the total amount paid into government coffer through the cash office and payment made on behalf of government. It's talking about the payment, how the government disposes their money, and how money comes into the government pocket. So that's what you might be given that the prepare card book is always the same as trees and payment or treasury card book. So as we all know, we have a debit side, we have credit side. So you, you prepare that uh, any receipt on the debit side and you put that of a payment on the credit side. So that is the receipt and payment. Now let's go to terminologies. There are some terminologies in government accounting. We have a payment of which we discuss about this is the procedure for transferring funds from one vote to another within the same head. So that's what we use by environment for them. We have a vote. 